Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and well, you may notice that it says uh, cycle 38 up there in the corner right now, and oxygen not included instead of a uh, 40. Nine, I think it was that you may have been expecting. Uh, this is actually from the episode that uh, didn't actually go up. I accidentally skipped this video when creating and rendering out videos over the weekend. So that's my bad. Yeah, sorry about that, but I want to give you a quick recap as to what you did miss in that episode, just so that you know. So basically, we did... In this episode, we didn't gain any new colonists. Stress actually, went, I believe, went up a little bit. And as far as changes to rooms, basically we moved around the kitchen a little bit so that uh, we could have a big batteries in there instead of the little ones. We also did our first dining room, which as you saw later became the Great Hall, which was pretty great. And you're gonna see a little transition of the uh, rooms here just to give you a better idea of how it looked and how that happened. I also moved the job board in this episode as well from where it is up a little bit higher as I was moving things around. So those are the only actual major changes that happened uh, in between cycles 38 and 42 I believe it was um, and that's what resulted in you know that end that you're seeing right now. So I just wanted to recap you on that, and then last episode, of course, we made that great haul, which you saw, and all that good stuff. We did get another uh, person in the colony, a new duplicant, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the actual new episode. Again, sorry for missing the stuff from before, but at least now you're up to date and you know what's going on, and we can move on from there. So, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, well... Let's get on with the show. Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Oxygen Not Included. While I'm here, while I'm welcoming you, can I also say thank you for uh, giving the series as much support as you have. It's uh, been actually doing really well, surprisingly, considering it's not RimWorld. So, want a big thank you for that, and also, hello, Shinebugs. How you doing? We made some more storage compactor space. We made plenty of bedrooms for our future colonists here. And we got quite big, quite a big group here. Nine people. I actually don't know if I've ever had a colony with nine people in it before. But right now, as you can see, Fran and Dismas hanging out. Being friendly friends, which is what we want. Eventually, someone is going to master their current trade. And we're going to improve them to be a research assistant so that we can get decontamination research. That way we can build some oxygen uh, cleaners here because we got some polluted oxygen all up in here. In fact, we have no place to even put a cleaner in here. But we also have uh, this area here that we just opened up and it's full of polluted oxygen. So, you know, uh, deodorizer right here would be fantastic. And we have this area down here, which is all pretty much carbon dioxide at this point, which is actually great. Because we're going we're gonna to be able to use this. You'll see. I kind of want to even all this out. So how about we do that? We just even it all out. Eventually we'll put ladders going down there as well. Apparently this is considered occupied space. I mean, it's not a huge rush, guys. I know you're acting like it's the most important thing in the universe. This refrigerator is actually half full. This is amazing. We have 44 meal lice. And some gristleberry left. Wish you could do more with meal lice, but it's all right. Lice loaf is still good. It's downtime. Time. <laughs> Time to get down. Get down on it. Why are these growth halted? It just says growth halted. What happened? Is there like some unbreathable... Is there some bad oxygen floating around here? Ah! There is. There's some natural gas floating around here. There it goes. It's dropping down. As it should. Beautiful, beautiful. We want it to drop down here as much as possible. And the fact that it is, is brilliant. Got some polluted oxygen in some other areas as well. We'll eventually have to get that taken care of. It's now Volpe's work time, and she's just gonna sit over here and fart, I guess. It's not really working, I don't know if you knew this. Eventually we might be able to get some eggs as well. There's a 90% chance of laying hatchling eggs. Well, I mean, that's good. So we might want to look into ranching eventually, too. I mean, we got these Drekos now, or at least we got one. 
He's, uh, he's pretty great. I didn't mean to put him in this room. I hope he doesn't die. Got some hydrogen sitting over here as well, which is not necessarily great. But again, if it leaks out to the rest of our colony here, it'll just float up to this area. And eventually we want this the abyssalite farming as well. This is a vacuum, so we can dig up here with relatively little consequence. Digging this carbon dioxide could be a little bit worse, but I'm not too not too worried about it. I think, yeah, we do. We actually have uh Oh, we have fungal so we have dust caps! My dude! Boom. Uh, I guess farm tiles, right? Can't think of a reason not to put them in farm tiles. Let's just put three down here. Throw down some dust caps. Nice. There you go. Dig all that up, too. It'll give more space for the natural gas and the carbon dioxide to float down, too. All right. Getting the digging done. Hey, there's a couple more hatches. How you guys doing? Oh, nice. I'm actually going to put them on the corners first, and I'll leave that middle one empty for now. Welcome to Cycle 50, by the way. We made it. It was actually not much of a thing at all. Fungal spore here, please. Hatchling egg! Ooh, they just plopped us an egg. That's good, right? Actually, the hatchlings have disappeared. Did they die? They just up and die? That, that might have been what happened. There's also an egg over here. It's incubating. Its viability is 100%. At zero, it would become cracked and be unable to hatch. Huh. That's really cool. Alright. So now they need slime to fertilize. We only have... Well, we have 300 kilograms of it. It needs 400 grams per cycle. We have plenty of slime. Alright. Well, that means we need a new storage compactor down here to hold slime. So, storage compactor. Uh, you know what? Let's just take care of it. There we go. And just so that we don't accidentally cause a problem here, how about we uh, tile up right there? Alright. This stuff could still cause a problem, so I'm thinking what we do is just tile like this. There we go. That'll that'll preserve this water until we absolutely have to crack into it. Which will hopefully be not for a long, long time. Scale increases. This is lacking nothing now. Alright. And they're growing? It is growing! We're gonna have dust caps! Dude! We can make fried mushrooms. Quality plus one. We're doing it. We are we are ascending to a new realm, a realm where we can grow more food than ever. And we could bring someone else on board. I'm questioning it. I'm thinking farm tiles all the way across here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to move some of the mealwood down here and get more get more lamp up here. This place needs more lamp. got to love the lamp. Ah, they need water. That makes sense. Actually running a little low on water over here. Not a huge fan of that. There's secluded oxygen pooling around in this room, too, that we're going to need to get taken care of. All right. Got noodle arms, narcoleptic, gastrophobia. I don't like narcoleptic. I have too many of them already. Gastrophobia means you won't cook. That's not a bad thing. I don't think I need another cook. Let's see. Simple task. Food quality perception. Oh, simple taste, not task. Uh, you're satisfied by even bland food. I mean, that's pretty good, Liera. I'm liking Harold over here. He's a grease monkey. He's good at tinkering. He's interested in farming, which is great. He does eat a lot when he's stressed out, which is... Not as great. But you know what? I think we do need someone else. No, we don't have yet. We don't have the right. Alright. Welcome to the farm, D-Right. We're going to give you a job to start off. 
not farmhand, though. Your morale's not up. Well, let's give you some time for your morale to get up there first. And then when you're a little more custom or acclimated, I should say, we'll uh, see about giving you some other jobs. All right, do we need another bathroom? Maybe we do. Or a bigger bathroom. You know, a bigger bathroom might actually work out better. So I tell you what, what if we go ahead and get rid of this flower pot and extend the bathroom a little. Like this. And then we can put in another toilet. Let's see, these are all, those are all the in, there's the out, we're gonna need a... Can we make a bridge? Do we have the... Yes, we do have the ability to make a liquid bridge. Okay, good. We can do this then. Ain't no thing. All right, we're down to 29,000 food, which is a little lower than I'd like to be, but that's all right. So we're gonna make all of this meal wood. And that's gonna be just fine, I think. This is done. This needs to be storing just slime. Was that under orga organic? Yeah. Uh, slime, high priority for this. This is where the slime goes. Don't get it twisted. Not a huge fan of the exposed piping here, but it's not really that big of a deal. Now that McGinnis has a place to put the slime, he's going to get to it. All right. So, like, this thing can extend four out. So, it means it can probably extend four both ways. So, this one, we would deconstruct it and we would replace it with a light. right there. And we want that connected. I want it connected to this grid. So we're just going to plop it like that. Man, they got that done fast. Let's deconstruct buildings only, please. This, this, and this. And then we'll plop down a bath, another uh, toilet, I should say. Right there. Now for the pipes. So this is the out pipe. So this literally just connects to there. The in pipe, a little bit trickier. We're gonna want a liquid bridge. Basically doing, you can't make it do that. Oh. All right, hold, hold, hold off on this. We gotta think about this now. Let's do this. And then we'll disconnect this pipe. Yeah. Liquid pipes. Boom, boom. Get rid of these. And this. Well, no, that's still, that's still going to stay. Okay. Now we can put that in the lavatory here. That connects. And we can put in... I still need a bridge to go over to it. But I can put a bridge here now. Like that. And then the good water goes in here, and then comes out here, to the piping. And there you go, we have a second toilet. You know what, let's, let's cover up this nastiness here. There you go. With some art. How are we doing on art, by the way? 92%. So we should be done soon. Still have a lot of meal lice. Let's go ahead and actually loaf some of this up. Make some better meals. Alright, those are all illuminated. Mealwood seeds, please. Copy settings. Do me up with that solid. So this is going to be cranking out some polluted oxygen as well, which means we're going to want a scrubber up here eventually. Pressure seems to be just fine over here. All right, we can put stuff on top of this, too. So I suppose we could put uh, a couple of storage compactors up here for dirt eventually. And now what we want to do is uproot this. Or wait, can we just, uh, like, copy settings? I don't know if that's going to tell it to switch. I think we actually have to uproot. 
So is there like a is there like an uproot button? No, not really. All right. So uproot all these. I'm gonna lose out on a little bit of food temporarily, but I think for the most part we'll still be all right. And the food that we're going to get out of it, which will be bristle blossoms, will be much better quality. See, we lost eight, and we got, what, three, six, nine, ten? Yeah. It's worth. Can dig this up, too. We should probably end up digging out even farther over here, so let's go ahead and do that. But I just want more area for the natural gas and the carbon dioxide to diffuse down. Because ultimately, that's what we want it to keep doing. This pool is looking good. Let's go ahead and actually dig it out this way some more. Can do this to keep going, I think. Well, actually, we'll need to dig this as well. Okay, and that requires a better miner. All right, we got some art. And eventually, Vasilla can work on it, but now both of these, this should be... Just fine. Yeah, the water's going through there, right there. Got uh, the nasty water going out over here. And I assume this toilet is good to use. It says it is. We're lavatory ready. Good. Probably should have made another bathroom a while ago. But d Wright has his own room now. He's had a day to get used to us. What does he think? What's his, uh, seven? <laughs> That's more like it. Uh, yeah. Farmhand. Priorities, D right. My dude. Go get your hat. Work on farming. That's your top priority. Looking good, my dude. Looking good. Alright, cool. What's wrong with this? Well, it was halted for a second, but then it wasn't. So, we haven't cracked into these fungal spores up here yet, but when one of these is fully grown, we might get another one either way. What's the uh, 7.5 cycles? Growth halted every once in a while. What's getting down here? Depluted oxygen. That's what it is. Okay, so we need to move this a little bit farther away. Not a big deal. Just build another one here, copy the settings, and then deconstruct this one. Yeah, the oxygen sometimes plops out over here, and there's some... Yeah, that's what's happening. Not the biggest of deals. Blossom seeds, if you please. All right. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We open this up a bit as well. Let's go ahead and actually ladder down. All the way. Crack this open a bit more. Strike the earth. Make sure this is a good sized pool for us. Alright, we're still. It's still saying we're at insufficient oxygen generation, but I think it's lying. Alright. Beyond the reach. It doesn't look like. Yeah, we can jump there, dudes. Yeah, it's just waiting delivery. It's taking some time, but that's alright. There we go. We got some more bristle blossoms g growing. Got a nice variety of food growing now, which is what I like. Fantastic. Okay. Copy settings. Boom. Does it also copy the priority? It does, so we can deconstruct this. That should help out with these. Takes a lot of time for them to grow, but that's okay. Not too worried about it. All right, and the wash basin's doing all right, too, it looks like. Although there is a lot of polluted water around it. I mean, we're getting all this taken care of. Yeah, let's do it. Crack it open. I mean, eventually we're going to need to get back to this polluted water as we build a, a system to get it all taken out, but we can that can hold off. Also, there's the part where it's all filthy, but 
you know, what are you gonna do? There's quite a bit of slime around too, but there's none in our base. Although there is some on this. There you go. There was some on it. We got Shadow over here though. Killing it like crazy. We should probably dig it up though. Because slime. Slime ain't good. So I tell you what. Let's dig down here. And we'll dig around and dig this slime. There we go. Get that out of here. Let's check out our reports. We haven't seen them for a while. It's still saying insufficient oxygen generation, but I believe most of that is because we're hitting max gas pressure all over the place. And we're not using all the oxygen. So if that's the case, it's not really a bad thing. We made 6,000 calories, added it to our coffers, which is great. Disease looks like it went up a little bit from last time. Stress ain't even a thing. What's stress? I've never even heard of it in my life. There it is. That's all three fungal spores. We in this, boys. We'll probably replace the rest of these with farm tiles as well. This is our mushroom farm, if you couldn't tell. Alright. So it's all pooled down now. This little uh, Paku seems to be okay with it. He looks like he's having a good old time. See, we're still mostly having meal lice and some muck root is still available as well. But you know what? We probably did. Uh, we probably did actually grow some of the some of the blossoms, but we didn't cook them in time. Got to cook those; they're more efficient that way. We got two jobs mastered. Fran has mastered the sous chef job. Basil has mastered the art student job. She's made art in here. Basil is the one that's going to change jobs here. All right, Vasila, research assistant, because you already like that job. Fran's actually going to switch, too, because once you've mastered a job, you get its bonuses permanently, which means it's time to switch jobs. Uh, and you know what? You you don't qualify for a chef. I mean, you do, but morale's a little low. So how about we give you the general engineer job for now? We got a lot of general engineers, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. All right, getting Vasilla switched off to a research assistant is very important, though. Bada bing, bada boom, we're all hatted up. We're looking good. So uh, go ahead and harvest this. Well, we're, this is probably never going to be harvested. So let's just uproot this guy. Uh, we'll uproot the bluff briar as well. We can put that places, and we're auto harvesting these as they become harvestable, which is going to take forever. I mean growth cycle is 32 cycles. I'm not too worried about it. Vasil is already getting us researched on decontamination. I'm looking forward to putting some deodorizers. Or whatever the heck they're called. Desmus working on this hardcore mining. He's already great at it. He's at 18% mastery already. You're a little grimy, dude. You want to take a shower when you're done? I mean, feel free. I ain't going to stop you. And we can see more of the map as we explore out as well. More of this asteroid that we're in, I should say. Hello. I don't know when all this became invisible to us, but there's something in here. We don't know what it is, but there's definitely something in here. The steam vent makes water. And it's not even that hot. I mean, 109 degrees Fahrenheit is fairly hot, but it's nowhere near unbearable. We had a tenured scientist, apparently. We could get a researcher to research it? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Oh! And it's now idle. Very cool. So it mainly produces steam at a temperature of 230. But then it cools down when it's done doing that? Interesting. Variable factors of a geyser are emission element, temperature, mass, all this good stuff. Steam is a gas. It's water. It's been heated to a 
scalding temperature, 210. But I assume if you cool it down, it becomes very, very nice. We do have to get through Abyssalite to really get there in a comfortable way, though. I do want to get over here eventually. I want to find a way to get that stuff. Pool it right down here. We'll have water forever. Speaking of pools, this doesn't look like a pool, does it? You know what? Let's uh, do that. There we go. We'll kind of pull this together. You know what? We're going to lose some, some of this water here if we do that. So, before we finish this... Yeah, before we do that... Sorry, guys. Let's ladder down and dig all this stuff so that the water can pool into the place where we want it. I would appreciate that, and I think you would too. Alright. Tile that up as well. Research complete. Decontamination. We now have deodorizers, ore scrubbers, and mechanized airlocks. Deodorizers are what we want right now. We want one here. We want one over here. Somewhere. Uh, you can put them on here? Or does that not count as, like, on a flat surface? Because if you can, I... It would be cool. Mm, I'm going to replace this with a tile. We'll put one right there. Anywhere else where we're seeing, like, large amounts, of, that's all carbon dioxide, which is actually a really bad place for it. So we should have an algae terrarium or two over here. Probably just one. Yeah, we'll do two. One here, one here. Is there anywhere else that's hitting, like, polluted... This polluted oxygen's coming down from down here, so... Let's deodorize these as well. That way, if it comes up there, it gets taken care of. Cool. We also got mechanized air locks. Which are great. Takes up a little bit of power, but is pretty much... Probably worth it in most cases. And an ore scrubber. Kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. I mean, that's cool. If I ever have a problem with, you know, ore on germs. Is that a fungal spore? My dude! You keep finding them now. They're popping up everywhere. Let's uh, get some mechanized airlocks going, maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't think we do need a... I don't think we need a lot of them. Maybe here. Yeah, let's... Because we've been doing a lot of work down here. But you know what? We don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. Not yet. Hey, this is working again. Just pumping out steam. Like it's nobody's business. And it's all pooling, is it? That's what it looks like. Neutronium. Mysterium is an extremely resilient metallic element. It cannot be excavated by any duplicate mining tool. Fine by me. It just means we can't get rid of this. Which is a good thing. Don't know if you heard about this. Alright, how's our pool coming along? It's getting there. Let's deconstruct this. And see if that pulls it down the way I'm hoping it will. Might have to dig this out too. Is that all unreachable? Nope, just that one. All right, it's getting there. It's getting there. It still looks like we're going to end up uh, having our water supply. In a way that I don't want it to. So I tell you what. Cancel this. And we'll just tile it like that. And have a ladder going like so. There we go. Ladders, ladders everywhere. And eventually, we will hopefully put this... Well, not... We won't move the vent, but we'll put this down here to be used. We'll see. And there's always this to be tapped into as well if we ever need to. Alright. This deodorizer is good to go. And it's citrus scented. Lovely. 
couple more building projects to be done, but that's okay. We don't need to freak out about that yet. We were doing filtration for liquid and gas filters. We might as well finish that. Since we got it partially done. I don't think... Job mastered. JP has mastered the general engineer job. Uh, do I want another duplicate right now? I don't think so. I want our cake house to be going up, and it doesn't look like it is right now. Dude, this guy's straight up biohazardous. Nah. Not right now. Alright. We probably don't need three of these, but whatever. I know we have slime down here creating polluted oxygen, so I wanted to get taken care of. But yeah, we need uh, food to go up. Right now, it's not. So, until that changes, I think we're just going to leave that situation alone. That said, I want over here. So what is the way to make that happen? Digging this up. And walking past there. Uh... What if we go over here, dig upwards, dig over here, dig downwards, and then hit it from the bottom so that we have a pool right here. So the pool goes to there, I should say. I think... Oh, is it hot here? Oh, it's 107 over here. Yeah, it is a little bit warm. Well, make sure to seek safe temperatures, okay, guys? Yeah, hydrogen keeps leaking through a little bit. Not a fan of it. I could... And, you know, I think I am gonna... I'm gonna open up a little bit over here. To have more room for the hydrogen to cool at. In fact, I might... Straight up... I'm thinking about it. Man, that filtration research was fast. So now we just have liquid and gas filters, which is good. Definitely good. I think I'm going to go ahead and get all of this deconstructed. Hello, Hatch. How you doing? Raise the ceiling here a bit, too. Primarily because I can. Yeah, this is, a, this is a project for these guys. All right, downtime. I can go breathe again and use the bathroom, <laughs> but mainly breathe. Also, this gives me an opportunity to... Uh, that, that actually works out really well. Not refinement, uh, oxygen. Deodorizer. Yeah, gives me an opportunity to slap that right there. Some polluted oxygen got into here as well, it looks like, and uh, I don't like that fact, but I acknowledge it. Got a little bit of stress going on. JP actually hitting the stress meter. Is it the... Uh, is it a morale thing? No, morale is fantastic. What's going on? Why'd you get a little bit of stress? Full bladder? Well, you need to, you need to use the bathroom more efficiently, okay? That is going to be it for this episode of Pet Plays Oxygen Not Included. If you enjoyed it, make sure you let me know by giving a like and all that good stuff. As you have been, and you've been great about it. But... Make sure to let me know. Thank you again for watching this episode of Thet Plays Oxygen Not Included. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.